while I stock up on crab meat to extend my prepper pantry food. If you ever feel alone, cause yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone. In a second, I'll be right there. Turn around, let it rain, turn around and let it rain on me. Hey y'all, welcome back to Tommy Bites TV and Homestead. Today we are doing a crab salad. Um, I'm just going to show you a quick and simple recipe that you can do um, using imitation crab meat. You can use your real crab meat. Um, this pack only costs about five dollars and some change from Sam's and is crab classics is also fully cooked and ready to eat so this is a great item to store it's only 80 calories you can store this in your freezer it's already vacuum sealed for you um, you can make so many different meals from this right now I'm about to do the crab salad but you can also batter these up and fry them if you so choose i'm not quite doing fried foods right now um just here and there you can also make put this to, uh, if i can get it out you can also put this in your mac and cheese it's just so many different ways you can do this you can put this in your alfredo i mean you can stretch a meal out um and feed your family with this so let's get started So I'm just going to slice that open. Well, before I start, let me just tell you what I have. That way I can just do it. So I have one bell pepper here. This is all optional, but this is how I'm doing it. I have one bell pepper, one small onion, white, no, sweet onion, and one celery stalk. And I'm going to finish chopping that up. I looked for my chopper, um, but my husband cleaned my kitchen and I don't know where he put it. I bought it back in 2019. I used I keep it in these drawers down here where I'm standing, but they're not there. I don't know, y'all. Anyway, how y'all doing? So all you're gonna do is grab your bowl and it's very, very simple. This is how the meat is in the pack, vacuum sealed in. So all I'm doing is breaking the meat apart. You can put gloves on if you want. Um, my hands, I have washed. You should always wash your hands more than once when you're about to cook. Get under your nails, all that good stuff. Um, so I'm just going to break this up and all I'm doing is squeezing it pinching it all you can have big chunks and small chunks they don't have to be all small pieces and you can just eat this regular um, I'm going to prepare this and put it in the refrigerator and I'm gonna go and get me a salad. Well, the salad mix. I thought I had some um, spring salad, but I don't. So I'm gonna go and get some of that and I'll eat mine. I've mixed mine up in my salad and I add grapes to it and it's really good. And sometimes I just eat it by itself or I use crackers to eat it as a snack. I used to go to um, this Chinese restaurant here. I can't think of the name of it. That it closed is over near Sand Hills. Um, if you're from Columbia, you know what I'm talking about. And they had a great recipe for it. I don't know what it was, but it was so good. And I think they just used this in like an Alfredo sauce by itself. No noodles, no nothing. I'm not quite sure, but it was really good. 
Only thing I'm seasoning it with is salt and pepper. And my Creole seasoning is what I'm going to use today. I usually don't use that, but y'all, I'm on this weight loss journey, so I'm trying to <laughs> put as much seasoning as I can on stuff. I'm down seven pounds. I will do a weigh-in um, next week on Wednesday. I'll start doing every two weeks a weigh-in. I just did one last week, so that's why I didn't do one this week. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights so As you can see, I have medium size and I have small I don't have any really big chunky chunky pieces that I know of You can always use a fork to do this You can also use your mixer to break it up But I did it this way just in case there's someone who wants to try this who doesn't have a mixer <laughs> get back in there and um they can see how i did it my crab wants to run away y'all so now all you're gonna do make sure this is in view okay so now you're just gonna add all of your chopped items mix it around I probably should have used a bigger bowl but it's all good I'm trying to keep everything in this one bowl because even with the dishwasher being fixed they still act like they don't want to do the dishes they take their time I'm not going to use all of those I'm going to bag some of those up the onions love my onions. I gotta have it. Y'all yeah, feel like I need to put this in a bigger bowl. So y'all, I'm gonna swap out my bowl. My husband bought this bowl. Um, another bowl that I can add to my mixer. It has a little piece right there. All the measurements. And this is my first time using it. I did wash it though. Y'all, that left hand can't grip anything. That's why I have to have surgery on it. Oh my God. I was so scared just now, y'all, but I broke the bowl that you just bought me. Okay. So that is so much better. I can get my hands in here and see exactly how much more vegetables I need to add to it maybe and just in case my kids are gonna eat some I won't add all of my vegetables because if it was just me eating it y'all I would add every bit of them so I'm gonna save these right here and I can maybe fry these up 
with something else. So I'll put those in a Ziploc bag. So now what you want to do is I'm adding mayonnaise. This is the kind that I'm using. Um, I do have books. This, y'all, is even, I mean, Dukes is the bomb. But this right here, this, um, my son calls it the Mexican mayo because his friend is the one that turned him on to it. And he's gonna kill me that I'm using it, but it's so good. So, I'm just gonna mix this around. Yeah, I wasn't gonna be able to do that in that other bowl, huh? need to add some more vegetables. I will. It's not a strong mayo. It's very good. I got it from uh, Walmart. No, you can only get these from Sam's that I know of. I haven't been able to find it in Walmart. I have to go to Sam's when I get it and it comes in a two pack or maybe four to six dollars I can't remember I don't think it's over eight yeah this looks so good and I haven't even put my seasonings on so I'm gonna let you get a look see so now I'm gonna add the white greens I just got a good workout I did a cardio and I did elliptical. So I'm gonna add the Tony Chasseries. Is that how you say it? Creole seasoning. Just a little. That's probably half a teaspoon. A little bit of pepper. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm not coughing in it, y'all. I turned away. Woo! Nose is itching. I'm about to sneeze too. Salt, only a little because I don't know how much salt is in this stuff here. And y'all yeah, know I'm trying to limit my stuff. I didn't tell you that though. All right, yeah, my bigger spoon. Use this one. Tie it. So I'm give this a good mix. Put it back in my other bowl. I don't want anybody breaking this bowl. Wash it myself. Y'all do that. You have something you don't want them to break. Okay. I'm gonna taste it just so you can see me tasting it. But I don't want to eat it till I get my salad. so long I want some more pepper though that tastes so good I need to stir it a little bit better so I can evenly distribute the season now I want some bell pepper oh my god this with bell pepper I might add some more That's just right. That's just right. Just, just right. So y'all, make y'all some. Big bucks. <laughs> okay y'all, so I've been to the store, did a little haul, even did a chicken pot pie that I have in the oven now. So this is 
my spring salad mix that I have here, just in a little small bowl. Not a lot. I'll have a little bit. Just a little bluer. So then you can put the glasses. Sorry, y'all. My son was showing me um, his tank because I'm going to do a video on their tank that they just finished building. So, I need to measure this. That's what I need to do. So, this is about a half a cup of spring salad mix. And then I'm going to add... two-thirds cup of, it might be too much. Oh. I'm, missing some, I'm missing my one-fourth cup, so I'm going to use this two-third cup, which is still not a lot. I'm just trying to watch how much I'm taking in. And so we're gonna add that to our salad. Child, they've been fussing about fish. Fish, 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 fish. Okay, so to do that, I'm gonna add some grapes. I've already washed them. And I thought I had my, um, you know those onion ring things, the crunchy ones that you put on the green bean salads? I like to put those in my salad, but they're upstairs, so I'll get them when I go up there. Five, six. Ten of those. And that's my salad that I'm going to have for my dinner tonight. And that's it. Now, I'll just mix that up. I'm not going to add any um, salad dressing or anything like that to it. If, I will add some lemon juice to it though. Crab salad and remember all the ways that you can make this meal. Stretch out your purple pantry food. Bye y'all. Have a good day. Remember to like the video, subscribe, share, leave me some comments down below. How do you make your crab salad? Have you tried it with the imitation or do you just use the um real crab meat now i got some crab legs in the freezer but i'm saving them okay all right y'all love y'all so much remember to start your prepper pantry it only takes a few items you don't have to go big but you do need to start and if you're going to sow something well grow something you need to sow something love y'all smooches Thank you.